What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Guys, it is post-spawn crappie fishing time. One of my favorite times of the year. In this video today, I'm gonna show you places where to find these post-spawn crappie, all right? But real quick, I just wanted to show y'all something. I have a new addition right here to the family. Five horsepower Briggs and Stratton. It was donated to a subscriber. He wants to remain anonymous. So I greatly appreciate him and God bless him guys. This little five horse right here will get this 14 foot John boat up and going. So no more trolling motor as my main motor. I still have my trolling motor here. So we're about to get it guys. Y'all stay tuned. There's the brush pile right there guys. You see that right there? Right here, brush. And we are in 14.6 feet of water, two brush piles. And then there's a drop off right here. So these crappies should be on these brush piles right here. I threw out my buoy. Probably can't see it, but it's hard doing everything. I gotta control the motor, throw the buoy, and show y'all this at the same time. So we're gonna see if there's any fish on those two piles. I got two buoy markers set out. There's two separate brush piles here. So I'm just tossing my slip cork set up. I am using two poles. I don't have long to fish, so we're just gonna see what happens. Guys, if you're looking for post-spawn crappie, all right, this right here is in a cove. This cove goes all the way back. It's a very, it's a pretty narrow cove. It goes out to the main lake here, okay? These crappie came in this cove to spawn. They went all the way back in this cove to spawn. Now they're working their way out. You need to look for brush piles exiting these coves or right on the main point of the lake all right there's another brush pile almost to the main lake that i'm also going to try out here in a little bit but these crappies should be here now i'm fishing in about 15 foot of water 14 to 15 foot i got that slip cork set at about 11 to 12 foot right now i'm kind of going i'm trying to go on the edges of these brush piles There he is. Golly, he took it as soon as I was gonna set it down. There he is. That's a nice fish, guys. That is a nice fish. That, that is a nice white crappie right there, guys. Oh yes. Got him right there in the top lip. Look at that crappie. That's a nice fish post-spawn definitely post-spawn fish all skinny definitely post-spawn crappie guys there he is here and uh when june and july comes around I'm gonna be slip corking even deeper brush piles guys y'all know i don't have live scope i got the garmin striker 4 on the john boat try to find these brush piles throw live minnows on the top of them and that is usually what gets the job done in the summertime Oh, there he is. There he is. Is that a crappie? Oh, man. Come on, dude. Look at there. He done got me wrapped around the buoy, but guess what? That's a nice fish. As soon as I set the pole down. Only thing I don't like about fishing with two poles, guys. Look at there. Boy, that fish is beat up from spawning. Wow beat up nice fish oh there he is there he is let him take that cork all the way under guys oh that's a nice fish yep that's a nice one there he is white crappie there he is nice fish real nice fish so i'm talking about guys these crappie are on these brush piles right now i promise you they're on them go catch you some let that one go right there uh-oh this one just went this one just went look oh 
Uh, it looks like a feels like a smaller one. No, 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 no. Good look at that black. My gosh, that's a big old black crappie, guys. Dang it, that's what I get for using that mono. Look at that black crop. Come on, fish. This is pretty black crappie right here. Look at that. Gold. Nice fish. My hook back. There he is, guys. Nice old fish right there. Black crappie. Let's see what happens. Put that one right there. This one back out in the water. It's a big old minnow right here. I expect big results. I'm hooking that minnow right in that tail, guys, so he's free to swim. That's another reason why I love this leader, is that this, oh, there's the other one I just threw out. There he is. Oh, that didn't take long. Nice one. Look at that. Come on, fish. Fish. Good old eater right there, guys. Good old eater. That didn't take but about 30 seconds for that crappie to find that minnow. Go ahead and put him in the cooler. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six keepers. Now, back to what I was saying. This leader right here allows this minnow to free to swim freely right here so usually helps out pretty well and letting that minnow do his thing that's a good fish that's a real nice fish right there man that's a slab that is a slab crappie that is a nice fish that's what i'm talking about I got this one buoy over here, closest to me. Couldn't get a bite off of it, so I, I threw my cork over by that second buoy, boom. Didn't take but about 10 seconds for that crappie to hit it. Let's see if I can do something real quick. I'm gonna reel this one up, throw it right there where that one was. Let's see something real quick. You know, there may be, there's three or four brush piles really close right here together but they may just be on one of them. That's something you're gonna have to, you know, try out yourself. Now that, that cork's in the same spot that I just caught that one at. Let's see what happens. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Ah, it's a smaller one, it's a smaller fish. Well, I say that. Look at that, that's a keep. Same spot. Come on now. There he is. That's a keeper. It's a good old eater right there. Same spot as that last one, guys. So what I'm going to do is measure him real quick. Yeah, he's 10. Now, even though that minnow's on there, guys, sometimes I like to give it a little pop, you know, just a little pop. If that minnow's not moving how you want him to, it, that little pop will, will get that crappie's attention. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is, Bo. Oh, that's another nice one. Get out of there. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a real nice fish. Come here. There he is. There he is. Look at that crappie right there. Got a little fungus on his tail, but I don't know many that eat the tail. I'm not saying there's not, but that's a nice fish. There we go. See guys, now I'm just using one pole on them. I feel like I have found them, so I'm not gonna waste my time and just use two poles. I don't have many minnows left either. I only got about three dozen just to come out here and 
you know like i said my main objective for this video was to show y'all that these crappie where are these crappie are going to be post-spawn and it is some fun fishing guys let's see if i can get another one out off that brush pile over there that should be the spot right there oh there he is there he is boy. oh that's a good fish it's another good one oh yeah buddy you see that eight foot acc sling them crappie right in here guys sling them right in i hope these angles are good on this gopro for y'all right now i sure hope so that's a nice one good old keeper good old eater right there about 12 inches long let's see let's stop oh he's 13 uh, 12 and three fourths almost 13 inch crappie uh-oh is that him i can't tell what he's doing that is him that is him oh it's a good one oh it's a nice one that's a good fish come here oh man another nice crappie right there guys slip corking you're gonna see me slip corking on the channel for the next few months or so guys all right you can't beat it really all right i'm, I'm using you know minimal electronics like i said earlier i have a garmin striker 4 that's a hundred dollar fish finder from walmart but it does the job guys it does the job it gets you on these crappie what i'm doing guys is I'm, I'm tossing that minnow out there and i'm working it across that brush pile across the top of it across the top there he is get out of there get out of there oh that's a big fish oh my gosh guys that's a mamu that is a mamu crappie right there come here whoa 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 that's a good one that's another nice fish right there whoo wee let's get it post-spawn crappie fishing guys post-spawn crappie fishing heck yes one of my favorite times to fish to crappie fish right here post-spawn there he is there he is that's a good fish that's a nice fish he's spinning the boat on me that's a real nice fish there he is there he is guys Whew. nice one nice crappie let's see if i can get a crappie to entice a crappie to bite that last little bit right there dang maybe maybe not we'll see oh lord should be a crappie right there oh i did i did it i did it and it's a nice one the last minnow the last minnow i think that's gonna keep that minnow had a big chunk missing out of its uh, belly, guys, from that perch hitting it. I think that's going to be a keep to end the day. Let's see here. Oh, no. Come on, bro. Come here, fish. I think that's going to be a keeper to end the day. It is. It is. Ten and a quarter. Nice. There you have it, guys. Post-spawn crappie fishing. I don't know how many I have in here. I'm going to get back to the boat ramp and I'm going to show them to y'all real quick. I believe it's about 14, maybe 15 keepers today. Guys, I bought three dozen minnows. All right. I had a lot of bluegill. I threw back probably, you know, eight to 10 small crappie as well. But y'all stay tuned. We're going to get back to the boat ramp. I'm going to lay these out for y'all. All right, family. We're back at the boat ramp. I ran into Javen, Michael, Michael and Isaiah right here. I think I found three new subscribers, guys. They're interested in crappie fishing, so hopefully one day I'll get to take them out. What do y'all think about these fish, guys? They're pretty 
pretty big. Pretty, pretty big. big. I want to catch some. We have we have a dock at our house, and we catch little tiny perch and bluegill and sunfish. Okay. Look. There you go, buddy. There you go. Hold them up. There's probably the three biggest of the day right there. Y'all ever ate crappie? No. Oh, come on. Gentlemen. I heard it's good. Gentlemen. It's the best eating freshwater fish, in my opinion, guys. Best freshwater eating fish. Catfish is. You like it? Well, but you've never had crappie. Never had crappie, my man. It smells. Yeah, they stink. <laughs> Y'all can set them back down. All right, Jay. Isaiah. Michael, good to meet y'all fellas. You too. You too. All right, y'all have a great summer break. Hopefully, I'll run into y'all over here again, all right? Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, y'all be safe. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank catch, you. Catch more fish. Oh, always, always. I'm subscribing. All right, y'all be sure to subscribe now. Always good to run into some little kids just curious and wanting to know how to fish, how I caught them and everything. But guys, I ended the day with 15 keepers. This is off of three dozen minnows, all right? But hey, guys, I, I made this video predominantly today to show y'all where these post-spawn crappie are going to be. Remember, they're going to be in brush piles going out towards the lake, and they're also going to be on brush piles on the main points of these coves. We are just now getting into the slip cork season for myself. Guys, a lot more slip corking going on. I'm going to also show you again how I rig my slip cork setup. Y'all be sure to be on the lookout for that video. Guys, if you're subscribed to the channel, I greatly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, I would highly recommend to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as content hits the channel. And like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.